Unions are currently under attack in Illinois and across the United States. Soon, the Supreme Court will rule on a case called Janus, which seeks to impose so-called right-to-work laws on the public sector. Such laws allow some workers to gain the benefit of union membership without paying dues. This isn't the first time that they've come after us. In 2014, they tried to shut us down with Harris versus Quinn, but we persevered. We went door to door, member to member, and we grew our union. Just this year, we have won many successes for our members. We made sure that we got raises for our home care members who worked through the home care services program. We also saved the community care program, which saved thousands of jobs and protected home care for tens of thousands of residents of the state of Illinois. We fought back against the Illinois Hospital Association, which sought to slash Medicaid funding for our safety net hospitals. We won numerous victories for our nursing home members and helped bargain the biggest contract raises that those members had seen in years. We passed the $15 an hour minimum wage in Springfield, even though Governor Rauner vetoed it. This November, we're going to elect a governor who will sign that bill into law and make $15 an hour the minimum wage in our state. These latest attacks by President Trump and Bruce Rauner means that we need to recommit to our union now more than ever before. Click on the link to sign up and send a message to Bruce Rauner and President Trump. We all deserve a fair shot. We know that when we stick together, when we say loud and proud, America needs unions. When we fight, we win. And together, we rise.